Hey, um, I heard that you, uh, like I said, uh, liked your video on uh, starting out. This is the practitioner, by the way, bachelor of science student, magician, and parapsych researcher, uh, technical skeptic, uh, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, so yeah, um, like I said, I've been doing magic for a while myself. Um, I don't tend to rely on too many of the professional magicians to help uh, stuff out. I mean, I do use a lot of store-bought stuff and the like um, to start me off, but um, the bulk of my repertoire um, is uh, variations on old effects that I've learned elsewhere um, or uh, stuff I've designed myself. Um, one, for example, one of my prominent effect pieces. Uh, here, let me get my um, let me get my cards over here. This is um, this is my uh, my unique uh, uh, work on swing cuts. Um, I actually came across these purely by chance. I was trying to extrapolate and dev devise my own cut um, after learning the pivot cut, um, the uh, the basic pivot cut. This particular variation is called the klutz cut, and it also has its own failsafe system built into it. Um, uh, and I'll show you anyway, just I uh, thought you'd enjoy. Um, here, let me show you. Um, top card is the Two of Diamonds. Here, I'll just bring it up to the top. So I'll take that up. Now here's the cool bit. I'm going to um, just, you know, just kind of, uh, like I said, just going to kind of start trying to uh, cut this card inside the deck. It shouldn't be too difficult. You know, the only problem is that I might tend to lose the cards, and that's the reason why this is called the Klutz Cut. But here's the thing. Like I said, I tend to lose the cards inside the deck. Now, of course, you know by this point, the Three of Diamonds is now the top card. Um, but I can just make it minus by one and it becomes a two of diamonds again. Um, just to prove it to you though, that I'm not, um, you know, maintaining the card on top all the time or something like that. Here, let me uh, do another cut for you here. And, uh, you know, like I said, and I'll uh, show you the card on top initially after the whole cut's been done, just to prove that it's uh, not really quite what you think it is. So here's what I gotta do. I just gotta take that and then just kind of like just do that. And then I do a cut and look and behold, the second card, is not the three of diamonds, and the top card is also the king of diamonds. It's not the two, which was originally there. So the two of diamonds, which was in fact the card that we started off with, as you can see, actually got lost in the deck. It's now down here. Um, you know, it actually got lost about a good, a good ways into the deck. So, um, like I said, uh, my secret um, on how I really got stuff up is, um, you know, like I said, as you can see from the uh, from the from the uh, like I said, as you can see from this one. Um, it may appear that I've uh, that I'm using traditional techniques, but I've got my own secret devised. Um, I can't reveal to you exactly what it is, um, but like I said, this is one of my own personal uh, developments I'm working on myself. I've got a whole bunch of new tricks and prototyping uh, of my own unique design. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, like I said, I've also got some stuff that I, uh, you know, I've got I've got a couple of new ones I'm working on. Um, you know, trying to get um, half dollars in tunies to switch places, that sort of thing. Um, just. You know, I've also got a couple of new uh, major uh, illusions of, uh, of my own uh, currently under um, construction. So like I said, um, yeah, I, uh, uh, I enjoyed your Street Magic video. And from one magician to another, keep up the good work. Um, toodles.